Okay, as I said earlier, I have posted in the group chat your groupings. Sa groupings po ninyo, okay, you'll see your groupings in the group chat. You'll see there number 1 to 9 or group 1 to 9. Okay? That means that that will be your group mate for your activity. And at the same time, you are responsible to make sure that your group mates will also join the Zoom session. Okay. If they can able to join the Zoom, Zoom session uh, without you knowing what's the reason, okay, that would be a 10 points deduction on all your activities. Yes, Diana May Montañez. May, may pinag-reportan ka, Diana? 24 lang kayo dito. Okay na? Okay, ulit tayo. Okay, so... You're responsible for the, your group mates. So every time there will be a Zoom session, you have to make sure that you can you will contact your group mates. Okay? Again, I'm reminding everyone that uh, the tendency of having uh, class every Monday, Wednesday, Friday is possible. Okay? Why? Because that is our scheduled classes. Okay? Uulitin ko, kung walang pandemic, lahat kayo nasa school. Okay? Now, um, from the previous from the previous lessons that we had last semester, okay, I want you to bring out a paper now. I want you to write three objectives, three learning objectives. Okay. I want you to write three learning objectives. The subject or the topic would be. Waste management. Okay? The topic is waste management. I want you to write three learning objectives for uh, waste management. Again, for the consumption of those who just uh, entered, I want you to write three learning objectives. The topic is waste management. Now, if you're done writing it, I want you to type it in the chat box. If you're done writing it, type it in the chat box.
Hi. Ang sinusulat nyo? I told you to write three learning objectives, not write three learning mismo. In toto, ay na, por Dios santo santisima. You're about to write three learning objectives. You write three objectives. Di ba ang dami yung activity na ginito? Bakit three learning objectives yung topic sa waste management sinusulat nyo? Ano hindi makaintindi? Huwag nyong tawanan ng mali. Mali ah. Pag tinawanan mo ang mali, katangahan yun. Now, let me rephrase again the instruction to those who cannot understand and cannot follow. Gumawa kayo ng tatlong layunin. Hmm. Diba we had discussed it already in your instructional planning last semester? You even have different activities. Let's start with Karen. Karen, do you have one? Would you mind to share one objective? Type it in the chat box. Thank you, Ashley. I'll I'll discuss yours, Ashley, uh, after a while. We'll start first with Karen. Okay. Now, uh, everybody go see your chat box. The I, the objectives was identify. Uh, sorry, the the objective is identify biodegradable and non biodegradable. Let us critic this one. Can you see the whiteboard? Yes, sir. Okay. So now let's critique the example given by Karen. Then later on, I'll also share the, the objective shared by the other classmates you have. By your other classmate or by your classmate. Okay. So having the principle of A, B, C, D. Okay, you remember A, B, C, D? Do you remember A, B, C, D? A. What is A? Anyone? Hannah. Sir Agents. Ashley, correct. Thank you so much. That is Ogens. Okay. 
Next, B. Let me hear from Pablo. Joanna, what is B? Pablo, what is B? Anyone who could help Pablo? Uh, let's have Carl Lester Gutierrez. Carl Lester. Sir, baby or po? Behavior, correct. I don't want to type it. I want to hear your voice. So, ano? May nag-chat. Ano yung chat niya? What is C? Sir, condition. Yes, John Miguel. Good condition. Okay. What is the other C? Degree. Mm. Uh, let me hear from Cyrus. Content. Oh, yung tinatawag. Manahimik. Cyrus, what is the other C? Oh. Content, sir. Content. Good. Now, the D. What is D? Let me hear from... Uh, Kimberly Gawat. Kimberly, what's the meaning of D? Sir, degree. Degree of what? Degree of? <laughs> Mercury, what is D? Sir, um... Sa ano ako mo lang kasi nakalagay doon, sir? Ano ibig sabihin ng D sa ABCD ni Robert Major? Anyone? Jolina, Viernes? Come again. Ano yun, anak? What is the D? Degree of what? Degree of? Sir, degree lang din po ang alam ko. Mm, okay. So, degree of difficulty. Okay. So, it's the degree of difficulty. Now, let's have some recap again. Anyone who would like to, to recite what's the meaning of smart? Let's start with S. S, Hannah Cortez, what is S? In formulating yeah. objectives, what is S? Hannah Cortez. Yes, Ashley. Specific po. Correct, specific. Next, what is M? Sir. Sir, measurable. Who's that, Joanne? Measurable. Gale po, gale. Gale, good. Correct. It's measurement. I measurable, I should say. Measurable. Specific. Measurable. Then what is A? Sir, attainable. Attainable? Anyone? <laughs> raise your hand. You may raise your hand. Arafel. Attainable. Attainable. Correct. So we have attainable. Then R. 
Yes, Mary Ann. Realistic. Realistic that can be realistic or it can be relevant. 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 Thank you. Relevant. Now, what is T? Joan. Sir, time. Time what? <laughs> Sir. Yes, Mercury. Sir. Time bounded po. Correct. Time bounded. Okay. To those who, the, who are having problem with ano, with the internet connection, you can um ano ha, you can turn off your video lalo pag nag naglalaglag para makapag-recite kayo ng mabuti. Okay? Kasi nagaano 'yan. But to those everyone I still require camera on. Pag magre-recite lang, tsaka lang kayo pwedeng mag-ano. Kasi there are instances na hindi kayo nakakonect. So, again, there are what we call things to use or um, guidelines. So, we have A, B, C, D, and then we have smart. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, realistic, and time-bounded. Now, imagine that, that this class is for 60 minutes, okay? 60 minutes class. Now, for 60 minutes, we have the word identify now my question is is what is identify is it a content is it an audience is it a behavior what may i hear from nicole dulay sir yes what is this sir is it audience, behavior, content, uh, degree of difficulty, or condition? Sir. Sorry. No. Sir, behavior? Behavior. Why? Okay. Tama yung sagot na behavior. Ang kailangan nating maintindihan bakit mo sinagot na behavior. Ano meron sa behavior? It's very important for you to understand what is what is your answer all about, ha? Okay. Behavior means ito yung kailangan nilang gawin. These are the things that they need to do. So it's behavior. Okay? Now, having that said, identify. Now, the next question is using the smart principle, is it specific? Can I have a thumbs up if it's specific? If it's not, then can I have a laugh reaction? Thumbs up if you're sure that it is uh, specific. Yeah, correct. Thank you, Jolina. You're the only one who reacted. Yeah, it's, it's specific. Why? Because you know already the specific behavior that the learner will need to do or that the learner needs to do, I should say. Okay. Anong gagawin ng learner? Identify. Now, what will they identify? The biodegradable and the non-biodegradable. Okay. So it's already specific. What are, the, what are the thing, what do they need to do? At the end of the lesson, anong kailangan gawin ng bata? Identify biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Okay? Now, the next one. Let us identify the content. What is the content? What is the content?
No, the second one. I'm referring to the second one. This one. This one. It's true. The content of the first one is the biodegradable and non-biodegradable. But to be specific, okay, to be specific, the content of this one will also fall to waste management. Okay. Tama. But definitely, yeah, that's that's a content. Okay. Now, the condition, wala tayong condition. We only have the behavior and the content. Okay. Now, the next, what is the content? Sir, potential environmental impact. Correct. Potential environmental impacts. Now, what is the condition? Identify. No. Be behavior po ang identify. Correct. Correct. I, the word identify, the term identify is behavior. behavior. That's true. Why? Because that is the thing that they need to do. Yes. Yan yung gagawin nila. Yan yung expected sa kanilang gawin. At the end of the lesson, they need to identify. Now, the question is, what is the condition? When we say condition, we can also use uh, no condition. The, yes, yes, Ashley. Sir, hindi pa ako nag ano. Sino? Sir, yung condition po ba ay yung from the generation waste? Yes. Yes. Sir, paano naging condition yan? Okay. There are different, there are different um, example of condition. Okay? Like for example, uh, in five minutes. So that's condition. Okay? Uh, another condition is from the generation waste. Ibig sabihin, sa naling nila kukunin. But definitely, okay, again, eto baka malito kayo. If we try to identify it, the content would be the whole of it. Ah, diba? Yes, sir. It's actually a content. To be specific, when we say condition, there are certain uh, deals like for or criteria. For example, in 10 minutes, kailangan nilang gawing ito. Okay. In 5 minutes, in 5 hours, in 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, most of the time, di ba? At the end of the lesson. So that's the condition. What is the condition? At the end of the lesson. So meaning, if your class is 60 minutes, at the end of the 60-minute session, they are expected to what? Two, the behavior is to identify. What do they need to identify? The potential okay. environmental impacts from the generation waste. Okay? Yes, sir. Next, let's have... Uh, yes, sir. Jamaica, your objective, share it. Type it in the chat box. Uh, you can now type your 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 objectives in the chat box. Then we'll just to scrutinize it one by one. Let's have first from Jamaica. Di ba pinagsulat ko kayo? You type it now. Type it in. Yes, sir. Wait lang po. Okay. Sige. While waiting that, let me have this one. Okay. Now... My question is,
Is this objective specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bounded? Sir, hindi. Why? Let me hear. Sir, kasi po eh, within, yung klase naman po eh, within 60 minutes lang ganon. Mm. Siyempre, hindi po nila magagawa yun. Tsaka, but, bata pa po. Or, kung ang estudyante mo po is elementary, ganon. Okay. <laughs> hindi po kaya. Okay, okay. First, let's go with the, with one of the, the relevant answer to that. Is it a uh, specific? No. Okay. Time management? Not in the sense na hindi siya specific. Uh, so, yan. Malilito kayo sa mga explanation ko. Anyways. Let's go first. It's not time-bounded. Ibig sabihin, tama yung, yung, ano, no, yung point ni Jolina. Can we achieve this within 60 minutes? Can we increase number of jobs within waste services, recycling, and recovery sectors? No. No. So, is that a good objective? No. Okay. So, can we consider it putting it into your learning objectives for your lesson plan? No. Okay. So, yes. so how can we improve it? How can we improve it? So, ibahan na lang. Ha? Huh? Ibahan yung ano? So, in instead of increase, what do we need to do? We can? This. List down. List down job within. Waste services. Is that okay? Is that uh, attainable? Yes. Ah. Why? Because in 60 minutes, can we list down the different job opportunities within waste services? Yes. Yes. So, if you have this objective, then there, you should have, okay, you should have discussion on the different job opportunities. Ha? Big sabihin, meron kayo itong objectives na ito. Dapat, pag nag-lecture ka o nagturo ka, meron siya sa klase mo. Okay? Now, ngayon titingnan natin. List down job opportunities within waste services, recycling, and recovery sectors. What level under cognitive domain is this one? Is this knowledge? Comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, or evaluation? Let me hear from kay Charlene Bo. Charlene. Sir. Okay. Under what level of cognitive domain does the word list down belong? Hmm. Yes, Mercury, you're raising your hand. Sir, so, sa evaluation po. Evaluation, why? Sir, kasi parang, di ba na, parang na, anong tawag doon? Na-discuss mo na, tapos parang susubukan naman po ng mga estudyante if naintindihan po nila. Kaya kailangan po natin ipalis down po sa kanila if naintindihan po nila yung naging lesson. Okay, now the next question is, 
Sige, sabihin natin ngayon. Kapalis daw natin sa kanila. Did they evaluate? Did they critic? May ginudge ba sila? From the word evaluate ha, from the word evaluate, may measure ba sila? May chinek ba sila? May, may, may standards bang ginamit? Meron wala. Wala. Oh, okay. naglist down pa sila. Correct, naglist down lang sila. So pag naglist down, anong meron siya? Anong level siya? Knowledge. Knowledge. Correct. Knowledge. It's knowledge. The lowest level of the cognitive domain is knowledge. Kasi for example, from the word itself, remembering lang no, inalala lang. Inilist down lang naman. The word identify, in-identify lang naman. Diba? Okay, now. The question would be, palitan natin siya. Gawa natin ng panibagong objectives. Uh, ito naman. Um, identify. Still identify, ha? Okay. Identify the differences and similarities of biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. <clears throat> what level is this? Is this cognitive, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, or evaluation? Evaluation. Evaluation. Uh, Mag-raise hand muna kung magsasagot para hindi sabay-sabay, ah. Yes, Jamaica. Sir, evaluation po. Why? Sir, kasi ano, um, i-identify nila yung differences ng, ano, ng biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste po. Okay. Identify the differences and similarities. In-identify nila, in-evaluate nila. Is that it? Yes, sir. Yung parang yung pagkaiba po nila. Hmm. What's the difference between analysis and evaluate? So, i-analyze nila kung ano yung similarities uh, at difference ng ano, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Okay. So, ano siya? Analysis or, or evaluate? Analysis. Analysis. Huh? Analysis. Sure? Star Lester. Sir, analysis po. Bakit? Ano ba ang analysis? Sir, uh, analysis kasi ano, tawag dito. Sir, ina-analyze niya kanya, identify the difference of and similarities of biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Sir, may ano, mayroon siyang kinikritik, parang kinagbebasean na i-analyze from the identity. From the question, identify the difference and the similarities of biodegradable, biodegradable and biodegradable. You sure? Yes, sir. Sige. Let's leave it hanging. <laughs> Let's leave it hanging. Sir, di ba po ang evaluate? Sir, may tanong lang ako. Yes, Gil. Sir, di ba ang evaluation po ay yung conclusion na galing 
Gail, pa, pa-turn off mo na yung video mo. Mukhang mababa, ma, mahina yung net mo. Pa-turn off Hello. yung video mo para marinig natin ang direction okay. statement mo. Okay, go Gail. Sir, tanong ko lang kung... yung okay. e- Sir, yung evaluation po ba eh... Dun, uh, merong source na tinanggalingan, sir, bago ko ilalagay. Hmm, tama na. Galing po ba sa mga sources? Or mga may evidence po? Yun po bang evaluation? From the word evaluation, ano bang ginagawa pag ini-evaluate? Check. Ibigay ng Check. judgment. Sina-judge. Tama, no? May judgment. May critiquing. May, may review. Okay? Okay. Kung saan siya nararapat. Okay. Pwede siya, no? Pwede. When we say evaluate, Based on the explanation and definition given before, though I'll be sharing again to you the PowerPoint since it seems that you have forgotten it. Okay. From the word evaluate, we have to critic. We have to judge, justify. Okay. We need to analyze. Uh, yeah, let me sample. Which among the two principles is effective? So you are now evaluating. Let me sample. Which is um, more effective? Inductive method or deductive method? So when you have an answer, you are now evaluating. You have now evaluated. Okay. Uh, kasi you have criticized, eh? you have critic, you have judge uh, based on standard. Now, another is um, when you try to ident- identify or What is the par- what are the parts? Okay? What are the parts of inductive method? Is that evaluation? Analysis. Yes. Okay. Be- please make sure that you understand the difference between the levels. You can use the ref- you can use uh, Kratwell's reference or Kratwell's um, taxonomy. Kasi yung kay Bloom Bloom to uh, Bloom cognitive taxonomy. Yun yung kay Kaasem, knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Now, yung kay Kratwall kasama si Anderson, mas ginawa nilang um, verb relative yung definition. Like for example, remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. Okay? So pag inaanap mo ano yung parts ng inductive you are now analyzing instead of evaluating. But when you compare something, when you judge something, which among the two is effective? You are now evaluate evaluating. Now, using inductive method create a lesson plan. What is that? Evaluation. Hmm? Sir, analysis. Hmm? Sir, pinakalas. Sir, paulat nga po. Using inductive method, create a lesson plan. Synthesis. Synthesis. Or creating. We can also use, aside from synthesis or creating, we can also use applying. Composing. Right? Right? Yes, pwede mo. you are using inductive method. Now, apply inductive method. Remember, when we synthesize, we are creating new. New. Okay? Uh, let me sample ito, ha? The teacher uh, taught the learners, okay, how to cook how to cook adobo okay. the end result would be at the end of the lesson the student should be able to create or to cook their own adobo with their twists or with their own ingredients so what is that is that application or synthesis synthesis correct synthesis why Because they created a new variant of adobo. adobo. But when you simply 
based on the instruction given, cook adobo. You are simply what? Applying. Applying. You're simply applying. Now, elaborate waste management. What is that? Synthesis. Mm -hmm. Elaborate. Sir, analyze analysis. 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 <laughs> analysis. Comprehension. Comprehension. Who answered that? Sir. Jolina. Correct. Yes, sir. It's comprehension. Remember, under Kratzon, uh, Kratwell Anderson, it is understanding. So when you elaborate something, that's already comprehension. That's understanding. Why? You cannot elaborate something if you don't understand it. Right? Yes. Okay. Now let's have another sample from the group. Okay, now let's critic it. What is the behavior? Protection. Hmm? Ensure the protection. Which is which? One word lang. Ensure. 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 Okay. Ensure is the objective. Ensure is the behavioral term or the behavioral objective. Okay. Now, is it smart? Is it smart? When I say ma is smart, is it specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, realistic, and time bounded? Measurable. Measurable siya. Okay, sige. Tama naman. Tama. Now, anong learning activity ang gagawin natin para dito? This is actually a good ano, this is actually a good uh, objective. Pero pwede pa siyang mas improve no? Anong learning activity, meaning assessment activity? Paano natin to gegradean? Anong activity ang papagawa natin sa mga bata? Measure waste management. Ano na? Measure waste management, sir. Measure waste management. The word management measure, ibig sabihin yung policies yan. Ibig sabihin yung yung paraan gagawin. Ano yung mga pwedeng hakbang? Protect. Ay, hindi. Ang tinatanong ko ha, anong activity ang pwede nating ipagawa sa mga bata? Example of learning asse or assessment tool or assessment activity. We have quiz, exam, recitation. Eh, yan ang assessment tool, ha? Sir, ano ulit yung tanong mo? Anong assessment tool or anong learning activity ang pwede natin ipagawa sa kanila? Recitation. Recitation. Okay, one. What else? Activity. Ano ang activity? Papa-activity mo kung ano yung naiintindi. Ano nga? Ano? <laughs> ano nga?
Ano? Maria Fe, th that is actually another ano, another objective. Now, anong activity ang pwede nating ipagawa? Sir, pwede ba yung ipaparecite mo sa kanila yung mga policies ng waste management? Oh, that's one. What else? <laughs> Reporting. Reporting? Pwede, pwede. So, we're gonna grade them through their reports. That's good. What else? Teachers, be creative! Sir, pwede po ba yung games? What kind of games? What games is this? Sir, yung kwan, ma ikaw na teacher, eh, magsasabi ka ng mga policies, ganun, good and bad policies, tapos i-identify nung mga students or paglilihan, paglilinyahin mo sila kung okay. saan sila, kwan, kung uh -huh. tama ba or mali sir. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That that can be uh, enriching activities. Okay? Enriching activities yan. For them to understand and at the same time, for them to remember the different policies about effective waste management. That's good. Now, another thing, what I'm, uh, what I'm asking now is, what assessment tool yung pwede nating grade dan? Pwede nating lagyan ng grade. Ire-record natin. Because remember... Uh, enriching activities okay, is just part of deepening yung pinapalalim mo yung nalalaman nila sa lesson. Okay? But the other thing is for, for evaluation part, yung gegradean na natin sila. Okay? Anong activity ang pwede natin ipagawa sa kanila na pwede natin silang gradean? One is recitation as it was given by Ashley. That's true. What else? Quiz. Quizzes, sir. Quiz. Okay, quizzes. Quizzes, there are two things when it comes to quiz. One is a formative quiz and the second one is the summative quiz. Pag nagpa-quiz ka, the question is, are you trying to identify kung ano yung hindi nila naintindihan? Or summary na ito, summative. Okay, dalawa kasi siya. Pwede kasi ibigay ang quiz. Alibaba, pag nagpa-quiz si teacher, it doesn't mean na i-record na yun. Okay? Pero pag halimbawa ang sabi ng teacher, okay, let's have a long quiz. So when it's a long quiz, ah, recorded yan. Okay? Or let's have a unit quiz. Ah, yung buong unit yan, i-record -re yan. Okay? So that's one. Okay, we have recitation. We have quiz. What else? Written output. Written output. Yes, Mary Ann, what kind of written output is that? Essay, sir. Essay? Yeah, okay, that's good. You know, tingnan nyo ha, when we provide assessment activity, we are also integrating other concepts in our assessment. Like for example, when you ask your learner to make an essay, you just don't, first ha, when you ask them to make an essay, you're asking them to give their insight to share their view, their opinion about the, the matter, about the, the, the problem or the issue. Second one, when you ask your learner to write an essay, you can also check their grammatica, their, their coherence, their ability to write in English, okay? their grammatical correctness, di ba? lalo na kung English teacher ka, limbawa, or makikita mo doon sino sa mga estudyante mo ang magaling magsulat. Okay? Meron kasi mga meron kasi mga output na nag-essay nga pero kailangan mo munang i-check, kailangan mo munang palitan yung mga words para maintindihan mo. O di ba? O sa inyong college meron pa mga ganun eh. Nag-essay pero ang ginawang essay palabok. <laughs> Paikot-ikot. Correct. Ayo. Di ba? Kasi parang Ah, pinahirapan mo ko sa question ko, ah. Sige. Ngayon, kapahirapan din kita mag-check sa'yo. Ganon. Ikot-ikot diba? sa'yo, ikot, ikot, girl. Okay. So, that's one. That's one. Uh, es uh, essay. What else? What other written output you can ask your learners to do using this objective? Ah, 
sila. Napaka-famous na mga pinapagawa ito ng mga maestra ninyo nung elementary high school kayo. Ay na, Apo. Hey. Logging. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, yes. Yung question. Nakaantay na tanggal ako. Ulit na. Ano daw, ano daw? Question. Paulit ko ng question. Sir. Okay. Aside from essay, from quiz, from recitation, uh, kanina sabi kasi written output sabi ni Mary Ann. Oh, that's true. What other written output can we ask our learner? Sir. Yes, Joan. Sir, pwede yung drawing. Yeah. Oh, What sir, did you to draw? Sir, sir yung kung paano nila i... ipopose yung... Ano? Wait lang, sir. <laughs> Or you can say, make a poster of... of uh, make a poster. Accepting... Or make a poster showing the effective waste management. Tama? Yes, sir. Okay. Pwede rin yung slogan. Oh, correct. Slogan. We're now thinking. Slogan. Yan. Nag-iisip na kayo ngayon. Mainam yan. Sir, tapos pwede din silang gumawa ng ano, ng video presentation, sir. About exactly. the effective waste management. Okay. But then again, babalik natin na, hoy, mga bata po ito, ha? anong grade ito, mga batang ito, ha? Oh. Yes. Di ba? Elementary. Oh. Elementary. Doon pwede yan. Yes, sir. With the help of their family members. Okay? With the help of their family members. Yes, That's good. You see? You're now thinking, you're now using your creative juices. Can I hear everyone? Ano ang bawal sa IED? Bawal ang? Bawal. Tama. Ay, bawal. Tama. Let's start with B and then end with T. Okay? Oh, mauna, sabay-sabay. Bawal ang? Bobo at tanga. Bobo at tanga. Bawal sa elementary teacher ang bobo at tanga. Kasi kung ang elementary teacher bobo at tanga, edi ang mga elementary students din bobo at tanga. And then the cycle of, of pinpointing kung saan nagkamali ay hindi matatapos. Pag ang elementary student pumunta ng high school, sabi ng teacher ng high school, tanga-tanga naman ang batang ito. Anong tinuro ng elementary? Kasalanan ng elementary teacher. ba? Diba? Tapos babalik naman dyan. Ano gyo? Ay, bakit ang bobo ng mga teachers sa elementary? Ay, hindi ah. Yung mga teachers sa college, ang bobo. Kasi bobo yung elementary teacher. O, eh, syempre, hindi pwede yung ganun, di ba? O, so, we have to make sure that when you teach in elementary, you are the best of the best. Dapat mas magaling pa nga kayo sa secondary teacher. Eh. Kasi lahat ng subject ituturo nyo. Now, let's go back to the objective. Let's try to develop or improve it. Okay? Using the different activities earlier, can we create another objective? Uh, Carl Lester. Cyrus, Bino, wala ka pang shinier. Ano, sir? <coughs> Uh, ang question ko, Cyrus, ano ha? Ah? Using the objectives given earlier by Jamaica, okay, to ensure the protection of to ensure the protection of the environment ito through the effective waste management measure. Okay. Can we improve Sir? this one? How can we improve this? Sir, ano? Etong objective na binigay ni Jamaica. Nababasa mo? Wait lang, sir. Kita mo kung ano ang ino-open mo. <laughs> Nabasa mo na. Andito sa ano, sa whiteboard, naka-share ako, naka-share screen. Hi. Hi, okay, sir. Ang ginagawa mo, video on ka nga. <laughs> <laughs> ano ka ba, Bino? Ano, sir? Basahin mo, ano yung objective? Basahin ko? Ay, hindi. Sula mo. <laughs> sir? Sir? Copy. Basahin mo. Sige, sir. To ensure the protection of the 
through effective waste management measure. Oh, magulong magbigay ng objective si Jamaica, no? Oh. Magulong kausap yan si Jamaica, eh. So, lag yung environment. <laughs> Ay, hindi. Bahala nga. Tatype-type mo yan. Mali-mali. Tapos ako mag-a-adjust. Ambisyosa. O, oh, Cyrus. So, di mag-tikto ka. Ha? Mag-tikto ka. Tikto mo yung bibigay niya. O. Oh. Cyrus, now the question is, improve this objective. No doubt. Pwede mong i-type, pwede mong i-recite na directly. Kung halimbawa ikaw ang mag-aayos ng objective na yan, paano mo aayusin? Based on the assessment activities na sinabi natin kanina. Quiz, recitation, uh, essay, poster making. So, oh, wag mo yung sasagot. Hindi kayo si Baino. We're not mm-hmm. helping him if you, an- if you answer. Sir, pa-accept daw po si Sheila May. Na-accept ko na. Okay. okay. Thank Lang. you. Ito daw? Yung sinasabi ko eh. Kumatend ng klase pero hindi tumutulong nag-iisip. You're not helping yourself. Ulit-ulitin ko, di bali ng away-awayin ko kayo, di bali ng murahin at pahiyain ko kayo sa klase ko. Kaya sa paglabas ninyo ng classroom at nagtuto na kayo, sabihan kayo ng mga taong tanga. Kasi hodang magalit kayo sa akin ng mga pamilya nyo dyan, wala akong pakialam. Teaching is not an easy job. Okay. Cyrus, paano mo i-improve yan? I'll give you one. That's the objective. Now, here comes the activity. So that's the objective. This is the aligned activity you can do for that objective. Enumerate the different policies for effective waste management. Sorry for R and uh, typographical T. Then quiz. You can have. Uh, you can assess the active, You can assess that objective through a quiz. What type of quiz? List down. You can also enumeration. Oh, now develop again. Provide another objective out of this objective. Cyrus, followed by Carl. Gutierrez. Or Lester. And then Christine Joyce. Christine Joyce. Christine. Sir, wait lang. Okay. Cyrus ang tagal. Sir, wala akong maisi. Okay, mo na kayo. I'll just answer the, que- the call of Dean. Sir, pa-accept daw si Joel.
Okay, let's go back. Per chat ko na lang. Ah, oh, sige. Huwag mo na i-chat. I-recite mo na. Hiya ka chat ka pa eh. Hiya ako, sir. Huwag kang mahiya. Diyos ko, bawal lang mahiya. Diyos ko. Ma mamili ka. Away-awayin kita o isasabihin mo na ngayon. Pag hindi ka nag-recite ngayon, hindi kita papapasukin next session. Sige. Hanggang ba, ka ng semester. O go. Ba, ba, ba. Sige nga rin. Susunod nito, magtuturo kayo, magde-demo teaching kayo sa akin. Pero pwedeng go and make an output based on kung sa lesson. Go, sabihin mo lang. Huwag mo akong tanungin. Titignan natin kung tama. Yun na yun, sir. Again. Make an output based on sa lesson. Can we improve it? Anyone? Sir, ano yung tanong mo? Can we improve it? Ang tanong, ito bang sinabi ni Cyrus specific? Maybe. Maybe. Ano <laughs> output ang gagawin nila? Sir, yung mga klase ng output. Predictments. Ha? Output about base management. Specific na output. Ano nga? Ano yung specific na output? Opo, sir. Dapat meron. Ang dami kasi niyan. Ano yung specific na output? Pwede pong palitan yung output ng illustration. Make an output. Up. I make an illustration based about the lesson. Make an illustration. About the What kind of illustration? What kind of illustration are we referring? Sir, or ano, make a process. Make a process? Mm -mm. What kind Based of process? What kind of process? Hmm. Yeah, make an illustration of what? Make make an illustration of the process flow of waste or, management. Ano na? Process flow of waste management. Flow of page at waste management. Waste management. Process flow of effective waste management. Tignan natin. Mas magkita ba siya? Make an illustration of the process flow of effective waste management. Yes. Maganda? Yes. O, oh, anong pwede nilang gawin dito? Anong activity ang gagawin? Drawing, sir. Okay. Okay, so pwede silang gumawa ng drawing. Drawing. Diba? Doon nila i-illustrate yung ano. Now, ang tanong, pag nag-drawing ba sila, nakapag-illustrate ba sila? Kasi nakagawa sila sa drawing. Correct. So, yan yung sinasabi natin na pag ang teacher gumawa ng learning objective at pag gumawa siya ng objective at meron na siyang naisip na assessment activity, maganda yon Ibig sabihin, that's a good practice. Why? Because you now, know already, you now already know how to assess your objectives. Ibig sabihin, dahil ito yung objective mo, ito yung gusto mong gawin ng bata pagkatapos mong ituro ang aayusin na natin ngayon ay paano mo siya ituturo para mag-connect yung objective tsaka yung assessment. Okay? You are now thinking. That's good. Sir, pa-accept daw po sila. Okay. Next. Let's have one more. Sulitin natin to. We'll still have class on Friday. 
Sige, mamimili tayo ng ano ha, tatlong ano. Tatlong objective. Sir. Yes. Bibigyan ako ng ano. Ano na? Ma ay ano to? Objective. Saglit lang. Chat ko na lang. Saglit lang muna. Sige, chat mo lang. Chat mo lang. of the different different categories of Different categories of healthcare, oh, waste management. Okay. Now, the question is Okay. Sige. Babalik tayo saglit muna ng konti. Ha? Let's have a backtrack ng konti. We have what we call terminal and enabling outcome or objectives. Okay? Pag sinabi nating terminal, ito yung pang whole year. Pag sinabi nating enabling, ito yung pang week, pang days. Ibig sabihin, these objectives will help us to achieve the terminal outcome. Now, yung dun sa sasagot, yung sa share ni Ashley na provide an overview of the different categories of waste management that can be considered enabling and terminal. But to make it enabling, mas specific, what kind of overview are you looking? Remember, these are elementary. When you provide objectives, when you create learning objectives, you again make sure na nasa smart siya. Ano smart? A. Doon sa A ha, S-M-A-R-T. Let's go with A, attainable. Attainable. Okay. Ang tanong, kaya bang gawin ng bata yung objective mo? We're referring to elementary. Remember, teaching of EPP is under grade 4, 5, and 6. Okay. We'll, we'll tackle it later on uh, specifically. So now, let's have a uh, define, reduce, reuse, and recycle. So, Carl Lester. Sir. Okay. Which among the three examples do you think is well aligned? Ibig sabihin, magkakakonek. Alin sa tatlo ang magkakakonek na objective? Oh, 
one and two. Yeah, just, just choose one. Yeah, the one and two magkasama, magkapareho actually. Mm. Three. Yung three, sir. Define, yung, three. yung may... Uh, three yata. Bakit? Yung may perform small kit showing a ways on how to do proper ways of segregation. Kasi andun na yung answer. Uh, may papaliwanag nila yung meaning nung ano. Kung para mag 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 segregation ng waste nila sir. Okay. Now, let me ask you again, Carl Lester. Sir. The um label the following behavioral objective. Tatlo 'yan, 'di ba? Tatlong objective. We have define, elaborate and perform. Label it. Ibig sabihin i-categorize mo under cognitive taxonomy by Bloom or Cratwell and Anderson. Ano ang define, ano ang elaborate, ano ang perform? Carl? Sir, yung, sir, yung define is knowledge. Knowledge. Okay. Elaborate. So, elaborate is... Um, application sir hmm ano ba sige pwede and yung perform is ano application din sir application yeah pwede pwede rin siya actually in synthesis okay. yes, sir now Ah, uh, King Kernase Soriano, do you agree? Yes, Kuya. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, so yes. So definitely that's the. So when you create objectives, you see ah. Define and elaborate can be under cognitive. And then perform can be under psychomotor. But if you're gonna check it, it's still under cognitive. Why? It's uh, synthesis. Hindi ibig sabihin may perform, psychomotor na agad siya. No? Hindi, sa, hindi automatic ganun. Pero since they, they will be moving, okay, we can still assume that this is psychomotor. Now, Participate actively in the class discussion and actively participate in the class are what we call affective objective. Okay? Values-based. Okay? Cognitive is about the thinking, utak, okay? processing, everything. Affective means the values. Okay? To, to cut it short, to simplify it. Then psychomotor is more on the performance, uh, generation of motor skill. Okay. Ibig sabihin, ginagamit ang katawan. Okay. Nag-gets ba? Is it somehow clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you so much, Julina. Now, um, let me stop sharing. The next thing we need to do Okay. What I want you to do is to make or write your own uh, learning objectives. I'll be giving you the topic. The topic would be home economics. Okay. Any topic in home economics. Any any specific topic in home economics. Sir, ilan pong learning objectives? Uh, maximum of four. four. Maximum of four. Uh, then, I, in that four learning objectives, I want to see an effective objective. An effective. 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 Objective, sir? Uh, effective. A-F-F-E-C-T-I-V-E. 
That's what I want to see. Okay. I want you to write it. I want you to write it. And then, pag na-write na, ah, uh, pwedeng isend. Sir, Google Form. No, no, I don't want Google Form. Sir, GC. Pwede sa Google Form, Docs. Documents sa wag WPS. Okay. Oh, kasi may timeline yung WPS na kaedit yun. <laughs> okay. What else? To be submitted this afternoon, ah, to be submitted this afternoon. At around three o'clock. No, sir, may exam kami ng three o'clock. Exam po kami ng three o'clock. Three o'clock to four. Sir, yes. na. Oh, sige, submit it on 5. Submit it on 5. What else? Sa Google Classroom na lang. Sa Google Classroom na lang. Ha? So, what else do we have in mind? Dismiss na, sir. <laughs> Oo, saglit lang. Didismiss ko na, anak. Saglit lang. Kainit na lang sa lupong. Uh, may klase tayo sa Friday, okay? Yes, sir. Then, I'll now be giving you task na kailangan yung gawin. First task, okay? Uh, for industrial arts and home economics, I want you to make... Uh, research, okay? Make a research on gardening. Okay. Make a research on gardening, community gardening. Make a research? Uh, so, research on community gardening. Later this Make afternoon, I'll provide the specific information on what to do and how to do it. How to do the research. Okay? Make a research on community gardening. On community gardening. Gardening. The difference between ornamental ornamental plants and vegetable plants. So, ano difference between ornamental and vegetable plants? Ornamental plant. Sir, ito lang. Ah, yan lang muna. Individual or group na? That would be individual. Also, list down. Pakilist down din. Different types of um, ano ito? Ito na. Different uh, types of plant propagation. Sir? Plant propagation? Yes. Tomorrow. Ayan, tinipe ko na sa ano. Chat. Okay. Are there any question? Yes. None? No question at all? Answer. If we don't have question, then class dismissed.